on, let me take you to the car. Come on. You gotta take me to the hospital. I can't take you to the hospital. There's too many cops, too many cops. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna take you to the car. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Two steps ahead, too, right? But who's to say? You're not setting us all up. No staff wanna stop getting this money. Now look, this shit ain't gonna last forever. This shit gonna end for us all one day. Hopefully you'll live long enough to tell the story. Just so you know, I'm only tolerating you until I can replace you. You better stop walking around here like you can't get touched, my brother. Excuse me? I said you're not bulletproof. You show respect to get this. You're right. I'm not bulletproof. But I'm that one motherfucker that you don't want to see at 1616 Page Avenue. Or at your mom's house. Or Jacob's Lane. Tell your mom my prescriptions are ready. Oh. Let her know to watch out for those cars, too. Four cars. My mother could be dead, and the first thing you're gonna ask me if we all right? You ain't shit, nigga. Clean these two up, and we all right. All right, bitch, Mary. How you really feel about me being home? And about these two men you just killed? What we got going on here, Cass? This will be the final time you lay your hands on me. Motherfucker, where's my money? What the fuck are you talking about? Nobody's going just like mine's it. Adidi, stop. Stop shit. This motherfucker did me dirty. We don't know that, do we? Yeah, you heard her. We don't know that, do we? For all we know, you set this shit up. You sound stupid. Stupid, no, but I'm sure it's fucking tired of you pointing the finger at Smith all the fucking oh, time. Oh, we're unraveling here. Oh, we've been unraveling here. But there's a problem in this unit. It's because there is no trust. Why are we here? I don't know why we're here. But I know one thing, I'm not leaving here feeling the same way I came. DB, you can either get out your gun or get out your feelings. Don't test me, motherfucker. Stop with the cash shit! Can we just breathe for a minute? Oh, I'm breathing. I will be breathing long after we leave What here. the fuck does that mean? You said anything about witnessing or committing a murder. Who in their right mind would believe this testimony? Let alone read a statement from a drugged up two-bit whore from the projects. That's the clean version. I fell on hard times. I got addicted to painkillers. Yeah, I want to hear all that. Listen, you need to tell us something. It's not like you've ever been a leader. Not one day in your life. Now you always the follower. And now you're about to follow your ass with Danielle the jail. Stop. Stop my ass. Listen, we found every single one of y'all's fingerprints in both back rooms of that supermarket. So explain the fingerprints in the stock room. Fingerprints in the bathroom? How the fuck y'all get back there? Sounds like an open and shut murder case to me. I can explain, but first I... But, 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 but first what? Not getting no lawyer? And who in their right mind would ever represent y'all's asses? And they only take your cases they know they can win. Y'all out of luck. We washed up there. <laughs> yeah, okay. So now would be a great time to come clean. I'm becoming very concerned the way that you run in this place. You got these young girls recruiting for you. I just want to know when they're going to stop breathing. Breathing? <laughs> That's so overrated. We both don't need you being concerned how I run things around here. You come here for your organs, and I get them for you. I just want this shit to be untraceable. Traceable? When have you found a priority for anybody to care about some missing black man? This world don't give two fucks about dead, kidnapped black men. And you do? You do? This is coming from a man that murders and slaughters. I just want you to run this shit tight or what? Talk all you want, because this is the last time that you'll see me. You know what? You talk about God doesn't like this and God doesn't like that, but you gave that man an STD that he took straight home to his wife. Fuck you, Liz. I told him the first time that we had sex for him to use protection. He knew what I was living with. He decided to have sex anyway. You could have gotten up. 
Yeah, he could have walked away. So I'm supposed to cry for his wife? I'm supposed to care more about him than he cares about himself? You could have stopped. Stop what? Look, if it wasn't me, it would have been somebody else that he spends his money on. You think I'm the only person that he pays to have sex? Um, where's my brother? He left. He left. <laughs> he left to go where? You ran him off, didn't you? Girl, my father is in that room dying. And you down here with your petty Mac. Cheryl, what, what you won't do is sit here and jump down my throat at this point in time after what I just heard. Okay? So, so little Miss Princess, feeling some kind of way because Bryce has a child. <laughs> Something you obviously couldn't give to him. You know what, Cheryl? Don't concern yourself with what I can and can't give my husband, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody could have at least had the common decency to tell me about this child he had floating around out there. Honey, please. I don't like you, so trust me. I was dying to tell you. You know what? The feeling is mutual, Cheryl. Really? Yes. Well, what are you asking to do? What's going on? Where's Bryce? He left. Miss Hollywood soap papa actress over here ran him off. He what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. He left our lead. He went to go get Bryce Jr., <laughs> that son that he had that you never told me about. <laughs> yeah, that one. But you know what? It's all right. Let him get him. Y'all can get together, sing kumbaya around your father's bedside. Because you know what? A family that lies together should cry together. Oh, really? Shut up! Stop it! So, you know, no thanks to you, Darlene. Yeah, she knows, because I told her. And... You know that when we left that house, we told you not to mention nothing about that child. Okay, so I did. So what? So, Darlene, why didn't you mention it? We've been best friends for, for so many years, and you know why I couldn't give Bryce a child. You know what my mother's so boyfriend did to me. You know. Close over 30 years, and I've always been there for you, Darlene. Always! I've been 16. 16? Remember? Maxine, we'll talk about this later. We were 16 years old. You told me that your mm -hmm. own father, the one laying up in that bed, used to touch you. What? What the hell are you talking about? What did she I say? I kept your secret. I kept your secret to protect you. Secret? To protect your family. Uh, what, what is she saying? Yes, you are so... You shut your mouth, Max. I'm not going to do that. No, we can't. Your mind. Oh, no, 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 no,